I get to come over to your house with my bag of goodies, completely incapacitating you until I was done with you. I am here to talk about what happened in my relationship. He was gorgeous and tall, and I was starting to fall for him. But something didn't feel right. Um. Once the sexual nature of the DM started, it was all that he wanted to ever talk about. <laughs> Are you okay to bring up your phone? Yeah. I haven't really digested this one. I have a fantasy about having someone prove their love and devotion and tying them up in a public place at night and making their body for use and seeing if they will f strangers for me. My bet was going to involve showing up at your place and completely tying you up and incapacitating you and then being able to do whatever I wanted to every single hole in your body until I was done with you. In the beginning, I felt like this was all perfect. This was amazing. He would say things, God, you're so perfect. How could you be this beautiful, this smart, so funny? It's like you were made for me. But then things changed. He pushes your boundaries a little bit at a time. You're his, completely. These are messages that are being literally within seconds of each other. I mean, he said, I'm 100% a cannibal. I'm freaking out. It was all he wanted to ever talk about. Then you get a note that says, I'm gonna bite the f out of you. And he was just like acted mad. Then he mentions the ropes. The ropes were around your neck, your wrists, your ankles, and you're like completely immobilized. And I'm just closing my eyes until it ended. We take a break. I knew something about him would come up in the future because I know how careless he is. He said things like he wanted to barbecue and eat her. And then this story blew wide open. Ones came forward, other women started coming forward. When all this came out, I was not shocked. You just don't wake up and become this dark controller, abuser. This behavior, it's deep rooted. There has to be a seed that's planted. All I did was lead him to the truth of who he really is. Without me, he'd be in jail or dead. I got diagnosed with trauma and PTSD. My very wealthy, privileged men got away with different bad things throughout these generations. It was like a monster unleashed. I have bruises. I hate it. He needs a submissive in life. Not just in the bedroom. It's time to stop. Nothing, nothing, nothing lasts. Nothing. nothing.